Relative Layout, like the other basic layout types you'll see in this course, has been available in Android since API Level 1. Just like its name, Relative Layout allows you to position views relative to one another and relative to the parent. The positions are determined using XML attributes. For example, views can have their left sides aligned with the parent's left side using Layout Align Parent Start or right sides aligned using layout align parent end. Views can be centered within the parent relative layout. Also, views can be aligned in some adjacent manner to a sibling view, such as positioning one view below another. For much of Android's history, relative layout has been one of the primary means of having layouts that adapt to different screen sizes in a responsive way as the child relationships stay in place as the screen size and resolution vary. In recent years, Relative layout has been replaced by constraint layout, which has similar capabilities. In Octo members, the list items in the recycler view are currently set up as a relative layout, but there's only one child view showing the member's login name. In this exercise, you'll add some more child views and position them using the attributes made available by relative layout. First, you need to add some sibling views to the view that shows the login. Go to the design editor and drag an image view to the relative layout placing it above the login text view in the component tree. Pick an arbitrary image to use as a source, since we'll load the member image programmatically. Change the ID of the image view to team member avatar. You want the image view width and height to match the height of the row, so use the same demand you made earlier. You want the image view to show up at the left edge of the root layout. So use the Layout Align Parent Start and Layout Align Parent Top attributes, which are available only when the view is a child of a relative layout, and set both to true. Notice how when you start typing the attribute, the available layout attributes are displayed. That's a great way to find new attributes you may not be familiar with. Back in the design editor, add a second text view into the layout below the login text view. The new text view will show the member type, so it can just wrap content. Change its ID to team member type. You want the login text view to align to the right of the image view, so add a layout to end of attribute and set its value to the ID of the image view. You also want the login to align vertically, so add layout center vertical and set it to true. For the type text view, you want it between the login and the end of the row, so use layout to end of and layout align parent end. Add some margin on both sides using layout margin start and layout margin end. The type is going to appear slightly smaller than the login. So add a new demand of 14 SP as type text size. And set that to be the text size of the type. The vertical alignment of the type is set using baseline alignment to the login via layout align baseline. You now have the child views of the relative layout all positioned relative to each other. It's time to add some content. In order to show the member GitHub avatar, you could load the image from its URL yourself using the Android SDK. But instead, we're going to use one of the popular image libraries available on Android. These include Picasso from Square and Glide from Google. Those two libraries work very similarly to one another, at least for the purposes of loading images into an image view. We'll use Picasso in this course. To use Picasso, first add its dependency into your app module build.gradle file using the project structure action and resync the project Gradle files. You want each row of the recycler view to show the correct member avatar as the user scrolls through the list. And the place to update the image is in the bind method of the recycler view adapter. Open up Team Member Adapter and find the bind method of the view holder. You'll learn much more about adapters and view holders in a later course.
Add the Picasso line to load the image. You're relying on the Kotlin Android extensions to avoid the need for calling Find View by ID on the image view. Next, set the text of the member type. Running the app now shows you the member avatars and types alongside the member login. The layout of each row still looks a little off, so we'll address that next and learn about gravity. 